Hello everyone, welcome back to Night in the Woods. Took a couple of days off to try and figure out some recording settings. Um, so I'm trying out something new. And my throat's also not feeling too great today. So please forgive me if I can't do the character voices as I did before. Not that they were, you know, great. But if I just can't, if I just read them all in the same tone. Um, I also just don't want to risk, you know, giving it 100% and then the recording's getting lost again. So, thank you for your understanding and uh, let's get into it. So, what we saw last night after uh, the Harvest Fest or Halloween was we literally saw somebody getting kidnapped. Okay, B says, hey May, thanks so much for your help last night. Woke up and realized that I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. Greg says, hey dude, sorry, couldn't hang last night. Angus says he's sorry too. Band practice today because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work, bye. We love Greg. We love B. We love Angus. So we didn't see anything new in the dream last night. Hmm. We're all looking a bit older, I guess. Weird to take like one moment and make it like the official version of us. You're just like the same every day. What is your bird existence like? Something new? Do 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 we have any detective books out here? Oh, oh, of course, of course we do. Do we have books about ghosts? Like real life ghosts? Do we have any books for nut jobs, I guess? No, this is good. Research is good. Confront the problem head on. You're not losing it, dude. You are, in fact, keeping it very close. <clears throat> hey, hon. Yeah? Come say hello, why don't you? Well, after our altercation the day before, mother, I... I'm not sure I want to. Hey, hon. Hey, mom. You look really tired. So do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Gray and drizzly. I could go for that today. Hey, hon. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff. I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want to repeat a few years ago. I'm really sorry, Mom. I bought all of it. Hey, May, you okay? I'm fine. Guess I'm stressed too. Saw some weird stuff last night, or I think I did. Wanna talk about it? Later. I'm still, like, putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. So what are you stressed about? Well, I guess you're a grown-up now. Just spill it, Mom. After your incident a few years back, as you know, we went into some debt, smoothing that over. Jeez, I'm still so sorry about that. It's in the past, let's not go back over it. Okay. When it came time to get you off to school, we took advantage of a kind of mortgage to make sure you were taken care of. Okay? Well, turns out it wasn't a very good deal, and I just feel so stupid. They like to offer these mortgages to people who maybe don't have a lot of money and aren't used to getting offers like this. Why? Because the bank took advantage of us, and now they own the house, and we owe them more than it's worth. What does that mean? 
means we're not sure how long into the future we'll have the house. Holy crap, we're in trouble, huh? And I'm a huge jerk? It's okay, sweetie, don't worry. How do you not worry? <laughs> what you're reading? It's a book of unsolvable murders. Do they all happen? Well, I don't know. Maybe? Sure. Wanna hear a real teaser? Yeah. Alright, there's a man lying dead in the kitchen with a bullet wound in his head. There's a man there with him. He's got some blood on his right hand, but no gun. Huh? Last thing, the dead guy has a scar on the back of his head. Do you know the answer? Well, I don't know if there is one answer. It's supposed to get you thinking. <laughs> about murder? We should have been to about murder? <laughs> Can't solve a murder with that one. Okay, so I have a question. What kind of scar? Who's the other guy in the room? What else is in the room? Who's the other guy? The suspect is clearly upper upper middle class. That's not super helpful. Maybe he like ski tripped him to death somehow. Yeah, whacked him in the <laughs> whack him in the jacuzzi in his backyard. Okay, I think I got it. Whoa, what you got? The guy in the room is a surgeon. He implanted a magnet in the dead guy's skull. That's why he has that scar. Then the suspect used a super magnet or something on the dead guy's forehead, which pulled the magnet out through the dude's head. <laughs> That's why he has blood in one hand. Yep, and I bet the murder weapons are stuck to the fridge. Holding up a picture of Aunt Dottie. <laughs> Oh, bravo, sweetie. Thank you, thank you. We'd make quite a pair of investigators. Cold open. Could open a detective agency in town. Why did I think it said cold open? I haven't even watched anything that has a cold open in forever. <laughs> Could use one right now, probably. Always work for crime solvers. All right, I'm gonna get going. Love you, daughter, detective. You too, Inspector Mom. How the hell do you draw his face from? So far, no drawings of what happened last night. Ah, there we go. That's kind of what the hooded figure looked like. This looks a lot like uh, outside my window right now. Dreary as fuck. Summers. How's it going, Summers? How's your Halloween? Weird. Went to Harvest. Saw some messed up shit that I think was real, but had a really bad nightmare. Cool, I stayed in and ate candy and watched TV. Halloween episodes were on. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Whoa. <laughs> yep. Wanna hear a new poem? Of course I do. Autumn winds, autumn sins, okay. Autumn times, autumn crimes. What's considered an autumn crime? Robbing a gas station then blowing it up in November? Okay, that makes sense. Hey, Mr. Shazakov. Yes, Selma? You're gonna break your neck someday. I'll make sure to fall right on you. <laughs> well, I'm a big enough target. I'm bigger than you. We should be covered. You too. Oh. Leaves, leaves, leaves. Is that a poem? Nope. <laughs> you got anything to say? The missus varnished this porch herself. Don't go tracking mud all over. No 
don't tell me what to do with my life how I want. Here we are. Miss May Vorovsky. Present. Mmm, smell the autumn winds? Yeah, hard to miss it. One should not miss such a thing. Talking of? Wanna see some stars? Yeah, of course I do. Come have a look. Please don't burn my retinas again. Ugh, oh, I'm blind. This is your own fault at this point, I would say. Is it this one? No? This one? Found one. Let's see. Ooh, a snakey boy. Big snake. Big snake? Yep. Anything else? <laughs> Saw a big snake once. Anything else? <laughs> big snake emerged from the earth and made war upon the villagers. What villages? You know, villages. Okay. And as he wrapped himself around them, the villages the villagers saw that they were encircled by the same big snake. And they came together and together slew the big snake. You learn. Why did the big snake attack people? Do you have sympathy for the big snake? Jeez, I don't know, but can we just <laughs> keep saying big snake? Big snake. Big snake. Big snake. This? Yay! Star located, Captain. Let's consult the guide. Ooh, he drunk. Oh, you will like this one. Really? Because they are dead. Okay, yeah, I'm into it. Grammar's, Gramercy the medium? In life he spoke with the dead? Really? Who knows? But when he died, his own spirit returned and spoke through him. Wait, that's dumb. How so? It's called being alive. <laughs> How did- wait, what? <laughs> Just called being alive. Not so, his body was dead. So he was like a zombie? But just as smart as before. No looking for brains. So like normal, but he smelled bad? Just so. Why did they make this guy into a star? I have no idea. I guess it's kind of impressive. Dumb, but impressive. So what's the moral of this one? Moral? Yeah, usually star things like this have some sort of moral. Sometimes things are just strange. That's the moral? <laughs> that is our pair for the day. Well, G. Wilkers, Mr. Chazakov. <laughs> Willikers. That was nice. Wow, that was pretty great. Yes, it was. More in a couple of days? Snake. Gramercy. Oh, my laptop is overheating. Like, well overheating. Because I got two recording programs currently going on, um, so I would have a backup file, hopefully, if one of them fails. I guess we'll see about that. Maybe it's just gonna, you know, it's gonna overheat and then none of them are gonna work. Haha. <laughs> Hello, lady. Ooh. I overshot. You gonna talk? Hey, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, May. How are you feeling today? Oh, I feel the damp and cold down here, but it's in my bones wherever I go, so no harm. Did you want to talk about Granddad? Oh yes, where was I? Something about a tide rolling out, troublemakers in my family. Troublemakers in my family? <laughs> right. Back then, there were places that brought all of us together, or at least brought us together in bits and bobs. The old Smokies. The Grand Bears. The Lodge of Old, the Church and the Union. There'd be dances, 
up at the HB. That's where I met your granddad oh, a lifetime ago. What was he like back then? Plain in most respects, prone to fits of melancholy, but funny and wild when the occasion called. I'm sorry, is this a Jane Austen novel? Surprising as I guessed a word. Hmm. What'd your daddy say about him? Strict but nice, distant but trying. Sounds right. It sounds... You alright, Miss Rosa? Oh yes. Let's talk another time. Okay. Hope you feel better. Oh, May. Oh dear, May. Shit just feels off, right? The longer we play, the more just the people seem like there's something going on. Kind of a weird question, but is anyone missing? What? Like anyone you know who was out last night and didn't come back? Uh, I don't think so. What's going on? Nothing, I thought I saw something. Okay. You should tell us if there is something. Just be careful, okay? Keep an eye out. And let me know if you see anything weird, okay? I mean, you all hang out together constantly. You're safer than anyone else I know. Hmm. No, he definitely saw some shit go down. Gonna go back up and uh, meet up with B. Talk to her a bit before we go to band practice. should go check out if Bruce is okay. I am worried about Bruce for some reason. something when folks don't want you to take it. Well, I feel like God would see this differently. I do at least. That's because you're a good person. What's going on? Hey, hey. Hey again. Hey. So I had this really bad dream last night. Me too. I dreamed I was a pizza and I was afraid someone would slice me. Jeez. Yep. This just makes me sad we don't have a pizza place anymore. Gotta order it from out by the highway now. Tragic. I had a dream I was a goose flying south and I had to keep up with the other gooses or I get lost. That's sad. It weren't a good dream. What are you all talking about? Big meeting coming up. City council. Yep. About, about Bruce here. Wow, that's intense. We'd appreciate your prayers. This is precisely the kind of time where God shows up. I hope so. Me too. I mean, I don't know, dude. Hmm. Is it because the council wants him to leave? Because just like they don't like somebody they don't seem to be nice to look at to be around because they seem to care a lot about what they deem nice to look at or whatever. What's in here? I think I've gone to church in this game more time than I have in the past 15 years of my life. Hey, hey, church mom. Hey, heathen dollar. Oh, I'll make it in there someday. Oh, in here. <laughs> but come on, seriously, nobody likes getting up on Sunday. I find it very enriching. Your father does too, mostly. But he attends, and that's important. And he knows it means a lot to me. 
Alright, well, guilt thoroughly tripped. <laughs> you do work for the church. That's not what faith is like, hon. There's more grace than condemnation. Kind of, whatever. Alright, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. Why are y'all being so pushy? Like, May wants to come in, May is gonna come in, but it doesn't have to be a thing every time, you know? I guess I've got a lot of my own reservations about religion <laughs> and going to church. Our churches don't even have those like pews and like sit down, people just pile in and they make women go on one side and men go on the other side and uh, they have this little altar and it was like all the, I guess, important shit in the back and then they uh, only let boys back there were men like women aren't allowed to go in there i remember that from when we had religion class in school which was a, a not an elective oh shut up you old crone so we just uh, had religion class throughout elementary school and here it's like elementary school high school university if you decide to go to university, that is. And, uh, yeah. It is weird. To, like, be in religion class and somebody tell you, Okay, this is where all the most important bits are. Let's go, boys, girls. You are sinful for existing, and you need to stay back. Plastic flowers are, like, super depressing for some reason. Dead flowers are less depressing than plastic ones. Have you seen like those really like realistic hand painted paper flowers though? I think those are really beautiful. Uh oh, am I petting rats again? Suppose that I am. And that was it, man. I keep coming in here hoping that. It progresses something, but I guess it's just occasionally a little bit of extra dialogue. I don't know. Anyway, where was it that I was supposed to go? Oh, yeah. Sorry, just taking a sip of tea. These are supposed to be weather stations. Pioneer scouts made them when they weren't playing football or learning about manhood. These are the manliest of miniature windmills for sure. <laughs> Cute. Somebody was sitting on the roof again. Hi, it's you again. Sorry, I keep uh, hitting my mic because I'm having it a bit closer to me today. Did you go to Harfest? Yeah. I ended up in a play because my friend B screwed it up. Cool. I ate pizza and watched Blood Dragon. Oh, sorry. Blood Gorgon? Cool. Blood Gorgon? Italian movie from like 1980. Lots of blood, but it's like theatrical and stuff. Girls boarding school, a bunch of ghosts kidnapping them, taking them to the to the blood gorgon. Gorgon? Oh, that word. <laughs> yeah. Is something wrong? No, I just uh, I think I saw a ghost or something last night. I'm not sure. It sounds kind of awesome. It was like the opposite of awesome. Oh, sorry. That's cool. I'll see you later. Good luck with your ghost problem. Thanks. See someone messed up the mural in the tunnel? Yeah, pretty funny. I mean, very weird and bad. <laughs> Any idea who did it? Nope. Lots of suspects, though. Yeah, whole town full of suspects. Can I get up there? I guess not. Wait, oh. I want to see some more stuff, but 
Doesn't matter. Ooh, today's your last day, so she's finally changing jobs. And she's gonna come visit. <laughs> oh, that's sweet, having nice work friends. It was fun. My night got like my night got like really weird and bad after. How so? Tell you later, I guess. Still like putting it together. Okay, well let me know how that goes. I will. Think it's band practice day? Yeah, gotta go hunt down Greg. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, no, he's at the snack back in. I don't know how that guy stays employed, steals constantly, breaks supplies for fun, and leaves work whenever he wants. Greg plays by his own rules. Feels more like the world plays by his rules. Whoa. I don't even know what that means. Still, whoa. Just gonna look at each other now. Oh, I guess. Guess not. I guess we're gonna go. Is some bullshit indeed. You hear me, statue? Guess you were drafted. Ugh. Dad, before you got to enjoy the statue they made of you. It's garbage. That's where the person was sitting where they got kidnapped. Can't make me go to war. I'll go underground. I'll join some sort of group that's against war and stuff. We'll blow up war stuff and sabotage other war stuff. I'll live in the shadows for decades. No address. Always on the run. We'll live in a trailer in the desert. It'll be awesome. Hmm. Hey, Yankee. Yep, we're band practicing a bit. I guess we're night. How so? I'll tell you about it later. Guess that was it, huh? I'm just telling people I'm gonna talk to them later. Whoa. Is someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss you, pizza place. Oh, past abilities. Are you two gonna make out yet? Indeed. Mm. I think I also want to run by the train or the abandoned poo donkey first. See if germs there and stuff. Oh, hey, dude. Hey, you. Working here now? Yep, sucks, but it pays. Question, how do they fit a kitchen in there? Barely. What do you do here? Grill man and janitor. I cook and mop. At the same time? Yes. <laughs> he seemed kind of weird, didn't he? Like, we literally saw each other last night and so many days before and he seems to, like, doesn't know who we are. Oh, a police car. Hey. What's up, kid? Sniff sniff. <laughs> you smell weird. Why is my aunt's car here? That's your aunt? Yeah. Oh, weird. That like makes you half cop? <laughs> You'll never ca half catch me half cop, huh? <laughs> I don't know what they're doing up there. Huh. Did you go to Harvest? Nah, over it. Cool, I had a kind of weird time. Weird bad time, actually. It's a guaranteed weird bad time. Yeah. Those people from yesterday still here? I don't know. 
We're not like good friends or anything. Oh well, yeah, I don't know why I thought you'd know. I was wondering if they met Casey out there somewhere. I can ask. I used to ask. Just hate thinking about him out there by himself. Oh, Casey's tough. He'll be fine. When you gotta get out, you gotta get out. Yeah, I guess. See you at band practice. Real talk, do you actually like watching us play? Yeah, I mean, you're not good, but yeah. <laughs> not my style. What is your style? Black metal, thrash crossover, hip hop. I like Witch Dagger. Is it kind of metal? Oh yeah, like a doom ship, right? Da da, doom ka. Totally. What? You know one time a guy followed me home? Like a guy from the tracks? What'd you do? It was like some night back in the summer, and out of the corner of my eye, I could kind of see this dude take this turn out of the parking lot and start creeping up the hill, like 50 feet back. But like, I didn't want to look right at him. Uh, took a detour through the woods and sat in a tree. It was getting dark, but like, I could see him standing just off the road, waiting for me to come down. Oh my god. Holy shit. What did you do? After it got dark, I climbed down and got up the hill real quick. Ugh. Yeah, it was a weird bad time. Ugh. I'm so upset right now. I know, right? See ya. <laughs> the is fucking weird. Black metal is depressing as shit. What were you doing out here last night? I saw someone kidnap someone, like a kid. Tell me what you saw again. Someone in a big old coat with someone over their back. Uh-huh. And you chased them down here. Yeah, and I got to the fence and they were up in the woods. Alright, thank you, May. Oh, I knew you were just gonna brush this off. May, there's been no missing person reports. That tends to happen when a kid goes missing from something like Harvest. Hell, I got six call about kids out too late. There would be a report. I'm reporting this, this right here, this is a report. May, there's no break in the fence. So? So unless someone could jump this thing while carrying a teenager who hasn't been reported as missing. <laughs> Any theories, May? No. They could have gone around the fence. <laughs> no. I was running around half the night, getting after teenage bullshit. And people scared of clotheslines and noises. I... you... Ugh. Are you trying to kick off a horror movie? No one believes the girl who saw the ghost. Well, I have bad news for you. The cop always dies. I'm sorry, we're talking about a ghost now? Must have gone through the fence? Really, May? No, yes, I don't know. I'm really tired. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. You're a bitch. Will you at least check the woods? May, me and Dan McConnell were up there this morning because of what you said last night. From the fence up to the old mine, we found a couple of teenagers on a gross mattress. We saw some weird looking deer and one deer hunter out too early. That can't be it. That is it. Cop always dies. the whole thing, man. As soon as somebody is known to have literally any type of mental health problem, people tend to treat them like, oh, you're crazy, you don't know what they're talking about, you're probably seeing things. Stupid. Hey, Gregory. What's up, dude? Ugh. Ugh? Long night, weird night. What's up? I'll tell you about practice. Cool. What you up to? Saying hello. Gonna head out to band practice? Yeah, let's do this. Back 
to watch this fiasco again, huh? Yeah. You're our only fan, Jim. I'm just here to be entertained. I'm a gentleman of leisure. <laughs> nice. Ready to play? Yeah. Go convince Greg. He's all slow today. Can do. Hey, Angus. Hey, hey, mate. What's up? Nothing. Having a very boring week. Jeez, I'm envious. <laughs> yeah. So about that demon tower. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know yet. Haven't gotten too far. It's good. I like it. Do you like it? I like it. We're all right then. If the fucking ears don't move, then... Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Oh, I was up all night. They are fixing the roof door, and it was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs. It goes out onto the roof. Now I can, like, I don't know, run from that door down in the lobby, up to the roof, and pee off the side of the building. Yeah, maybe not. What's to stop random people from doing that, too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Fair. You ready to go? Yeah, let's do this shit. Okay, guys. Oh, God. Fuck. Fuck me, oh my god. Jesus Christ. That was incredibly difficult for a song that I don't know, as me would always say. Wow, me, that was uh, pretty bad is what it was. Again, I literally do not know this song. <laughs> Phew. So fast. Just push the button. I am so tired. Strained my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. That sounds so husky. Awesome. And anyway, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy who I think was a ghost kidnapped some kid and also I think was in my head after while I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something because this is scary. Well, that's not what I expecting what I was expecting to hear tonight. You okay, dude? No. <laughs> I'm kinda freaked out. Probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Definitely. Ugh. Okay, fine, I'll go figure this out by myself. Dude, don't be like that. You got us. Aw, dudes. Okay, fine. So we need to maybe see if there's like some ghosty stuff happening around here, like from a source we can trust, such as, does the newspaper have a ghost section? <laughs> Why? Why is that a dumb question? <laughs> You know, we could check the library. For books about it? No, they have the local paper on file. Going back a century. There's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts. We'll find it there, probably. Oh wow, I didn't know they had that. Thought it was just like a broken down old bunch of books. 
When's the last time you were in a library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Which dude who paid for it way back when? Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh, sure. Okay, we'll be back. Ooh, go sees. That's the spirit. The library be. Oh, again with the mural. Look, jobs. Weird like. When this was painted, it was like, hey, look out the window. We're all working, things are great. Now it's like one of the graffiti murals after someone gets shot or hit by a car. This mural is really affecting you. I forget that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. <laughs> Let us go. Hey. Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any of you with microfishes? <laughs> Microfiche. <laughs> Microfiche. <laughs> Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. Good lord, the music is so good in these. Are we on the third floor? You do be walking. Looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Targ, born 1967. 50 years old. Let's see. Expertise, mining, construction, well drilling. I always think about getting a job when I'm old. 50 is not really old. I mean... You should have money then, right? Ideally. <laughs> should be like guaranteed. Should be guaranteed in general. Gonna join my young socialist chatterbox group? Fuck yeah, I will. Feed the rich. Holy crap. What? It's Charity Barity. <laughs> What's Charity Barity? How do you not know Charity Barity? I assume this is something from school? The school of being five freaking years old. Alright. So this was a thing you liked as a kid? No, I hated Charity Barity. It does look really hateable. It was like... You were kidnapped by a cult or you were under some curse? <laughs> Where a cute thing followed you around 24-7. Yelling about like sharing and not littering and paying taxes. Well, that's an important uh, skill. <laughs> I was five. I'm 29 and still haven't paid taxes. Charity Barity goes to state infrastructure budgeting meeting. Ugh, forgot the worst part. It always rhymed. Charity Barity. Oh no, austerity. <laughs> What's that? Reason the two bridges in and out of Saltstown are still closed. Oh wow, you still can't like go to Saltstown? You're welcome to try. Sure made a lot of these books. They're still making them. This one looks pretty old. Charity Barity. Danger everywhere. <laughs> That's vague and disconcerting. Could have just kept updating that one book. <laughs> oh. So we came all the way to here for nothing. I can't even walk fast. Gosh dang it, guys. Just go straight to the third floor. What are we doing? Going up. Ooh, here we are. Oh, wow, that's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here. Yeah, ghost or something. Whatever he was. Walked through a chain link fence. Or flew over it. Or something. While carrying something. Alright, well that's even more impressive. So we're gonna go find this guy. Because he took someone. And he's somehow connected to this thing that's been going through. That's not good. 
That also had a lot more badass in my head. It's okay, it was fine. Can't see me be. I'm hidden. Also over there. All right, there she is. Cool. So, <laughs> I have no idea how to use it. <laughs> really? I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? This whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. Aww. Ugh. Aww, we friends be a twist. Here, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumbass is in charge. Oh my gosh. Alright, so what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Move, I'm steering. Oh. Jeez, May. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. How do we do this? Uh, step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Sure. Hmm, this is interesting, but... Yeah, I don't exactly buy a ghost. Tragedy at the mine. The old store in town center. Possum massacre. No ghost to be found here. The way you say ghost, it sounds like you don't believe me. Strange but true, a tale of teeth. Oh wow, this is gnarly. And awesome. Haha! <laughs> oh my god. Like, y'all can pause to read all of this, because it's just going to take a long time if I read all of it, you know? This one? No ghost. I'll just read the ghost one when you get there. Mm. Ooh. Hey, hey, hey! Ghost spotted. Historical society. Yeah, I've never been. Didn't go back in school? I think th this is when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. The animals just watched TV and did therapy. It's actually a pretty cool old house. Used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something? Railroad mines, steel mill, something like that. An actual haunted house. Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have like summer arts and craft programs. Oh well, still worth checking out. Mm. Underground gases. Yeah, no ghost. Mm -hmm. No ghost. Ooh, Doku Ghost the DJ at it again. Scoot so I can see. Graveyard, that's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff, that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw him in the old section. Oh cool, that's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? This is like an actual dangerous ghost. I like history. Ghosts are history. History that won't stay history. That's actually pretty good. Spectral happenings. Look at this. Hmm. Looks like possum jump. Let me read it. It's possum jump. Okay, yeah, that's back up in State Park, right? Yeah. Ever been up there? Nope. I'm gonna check it out, though. Go nuts. Okay, well, that's like three leads. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Also, is that it? Uh, yeah. Three clues, we got three leads. You're a regular detective. May Borowski, a detective of ghosts. Alright, alright, let's go. 
So we got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless, but do you? No. No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into this society. Okay, well, I have, you know, a job. So I can't drive you around to all these spots. I can maybe do the graveyard? I need to go there anyway. Cool, I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like, and I probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey, nerd, ever hear that history repeats? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. So we've just been in a loop since we were living in caves? Yeah, that's science. Oh my freaking god. What? What are we looking at? Oh, we're just supposed to be walking. I thought something creepy happened. Oh, is that Summers? Ahem. What is... Is that Miss Quelsey? Oh wow, haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a badass. The school district did not fund that art program at all, but she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. Should be saving that string to repair those bridges in Saltstown. There you go. Thank you all for coming to the second meeting of the Paw Springs Poetry Society. Aw, do you want to stick around for this? Uh, yeah, I do, because I like Selmers. Tonight we have new poems from myself and Fisherman Jones and Selma Ann Forrester. I will start us off with one on my own. It's from the big city, right? They don't actually pair in string, right? She's from the big city, right? Yeah. How'd she end up here? Who knows? Ahem. A letter to my worst student. To my worst student. The subject of my stories. I tell friends back home. When they ask about life, out here in the sticks. It's you. I worry. At the end of my life, you will be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know. It was you, Brian. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Poor Miss Quelsey. At least she's blowing off some steam. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Two. Two poems. They're short, though. Take it away. Hi, folks. Thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels, Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels to be in the darkness all the time, born in muck and raised in slime, but neither do you know the paths I've trudged, so it hardly is your place to judge. Okay, that's one poem. The next one is shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs. Tunnel Frog swims in the dark, must think it would be a lark to be a fisherman like me, but what do you know, amphibie? That's it. It's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. Dude is really worried about fish. <laughs> definitely talks to the actual fish. Almost definitely. Finally, a poem by Selma Ann Forrester. Yay, Selmers! Thanks, May. You know her? Dude, she's like your neighbor. Oh. She writes these really funny, dorky short poems. I'm up for something short and funny. This is called... There's no reception in Possum Springs. Haha. <laughs> She's not wrong. <clears throat> no reception here. I waved my black phone. In the air like a flare, like a prayer. But no reception. I read on the internet. Babyface boy, billionaire. Phone apps sold make more money in one day than my family over 100 generations. More than my whole world ever has world where house buying jobs became rent paying jobs became living with family jobs boy billionaires money is access access to politicians waiting for us to die lead in our water alcohol and painkillers sorry lead in our water 
replace my job with an app, replace my dreams of a house and a yard with a couch in the basement. The future is yours, forced 24-7 entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck in my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement. They're in the house in the yard. Some night I will catch a bus out to the west coast and burn their silicone city to the ground. Holy shit. Wow, damn. She sure, she rhymed entrepreneur. I don't even know what that word means. <laughs> Thanks everyone. She always like this? No. Wow. Huh. Thanks everyone, see you in two weeks. Hey Summers. What? I like to read poem. Thanks, I wrote it myself. Wait, was the assumption that she didn't write hers? <laughs> nice work, Selmer. I don't like that nickname. What are you two? Sorry. It's cool. Can we go now? <laughs> I'm sorry that there's not a lot of differentiation in the voices. Okay, thanks for coming. We live here. Right, so... Found out anything about you, ghost? Yeah. Tell him, B. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost. Little Joe. I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow. I know, right? Mysterious. Thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost. Like, filled with dread and shit. I'm terrified. <laughs> okay. So it mentions three different places we can all check out. Oh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. Guys skip out and work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up. Share custody of you and your ghost. What places were you thinking about? The graveyard? I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? Sure is. The Historical Society. You know you don't have to, like, break in. The people there actually get paid to show it to you. Anyway. I'm in for the Historical Society. Awesome. So what did I get stuck with? Possum Jump. I know Possum Jump. We used to go there in Scouts. Perfect. Okay, I need to, like, actually get home and do work. It's gonna be awesome, and I'm scared to death. <laughs> oh, okay, so we're gonna do that tomorrow, then. If I die, Salma should write a poet a poem about it. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, it seems like that's going around. The ugh. Yeppers. So, uh, your mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. Thought you two were getting along. We're, we are, we are. Just a bump. You two. Always two alike. I guess. Got your chill and her smart assness. <laughs> I just hate to see you two on the outs again. It'll be fine. We're cool. So we're having money problems? What? No, we're fine. Dad. May, it's fine. It's okay, I'm 20, I can handle it. Nothing to handle. Okay. Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple of days. Okay. And to bed we go, I guess. Of course, I'm gonna check my laptop real quick. See if my friends are texting. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, let me know when you wanna hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. Thanks, B. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyway, and it's right down the road. You're ruining this. <laughs> oh, in that case, you are so incredibly welcome, and also, you better not forget this big favor. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep. Had fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just work. Did you fall asleep? Lol. 
Yo, I looked up the historical society on the internet. It's really old, but then they did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying it's a ghost, but old stuff that just got torn up seems like ghost central. How so? There goes hanging out in an old house. And then someone puts a pool where he died or something. Haunted pool pools would actually be pretty scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. <laughs> hey, man. Let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map and it's pretty straight. Shot up to possum jump. Okay, great. We never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. <laughs> Tips out. <laughs> I love all of them. Okay, I guess it's time to sleep. I just hope that, you know, we don't have a big old nightmare again, but let's see what happens. She's so cute. Hmm. Oh, yep. Yeah. Here goes another one. Ooh, that's creepy. What the heck? Fish, don't eat me. This one feels real spooky, guys so quiet Anything over here? No? Nope. Ooh, that was a long jump. Okay. I'm gonna keep going this way, I guess. There's nothing there, so I can just go down here. Ah, there you are. silhouettes of people. This shit's spooky. Anything over here? No. Okay. Oh. Spooky, dude. Oh, I think I saw a light down there. One. Now just to freaking find where I'm supposed to go again. <laughs>
is this it? Yeah, okay. Alright, what scary mess. That is a bird, indeed. Catching a big dang fish. Scary. Scary, bright light. Music though. Okay. Well, that was it for this episode, guys. So I guess that in the next one we're gonna start exploring the three ghostly locations. I genuinely don't know how much longer this game is gonna go for, but I really love it. It is going longer than I expected, but it's so good. It's so so good. So I really hope that you like it too, and I hope that um, the recording turns out good, obviously. If you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like, it means a lot to me, and I'll see you guys super soon in the next one. Bye for now.